Welcome. I'm your host, Joshua Sandiford. I will be walking you through the number one way to onboard and train your Go High Level clients. You've probably run into this issue. Onboarding clients is hard. Filling out their information, even harder. Step number one, click the link down below. You will download a free Google Doc file. Open it up in a new tab. Now let's begin. Step number one, what information do you need from your client in order to set up their account? Make a list of that and fill it out in your Google Doc file. Here's some questions that I personally use when onboarding my clients. What are your hours of operations? The name of user one, the image of user one, the business phone number, the phone number in a different format, the email to receive email notifications for the sub account, to receive SMS notifications, another phone number, uploading a logo with the testimonials, with images and links to those testimonials inside of the account. Next, I ask for the primary color for funnels and websites, secondary colors, headline font colors, paragraph fonts, and enter in the headline fonts for this particular client. I also do a bunch of social media links for their account. You can see those here. And then I ask for the email to send outgoing emails from. Once they have filled out all of their information, I make sure that they hit submit inside this account and we have a form that automatically pre-fills all these custom values. Of course, you can do this by using a high-level custom form and then embedding it as a custom menu link on the left-hand side. The one that you're looking at is through Extendly. I can talk a little bit more about the process that makes your onboarding just a little bit easier later in this video. Step number two, fill out those custom values. You're gonna go into the settings section, click on custom values and take the list from your Google Doc file and enter it into your custom values list. Take each one of the bullet points of information that you just gathered, go to the custom value section of your sub account and click on create custom value. Go line item by line item and enter in the information that you want to gather. For example, in my case, I have business profile information such as business short name, client SMS notification number, the hours of operation, and maybe a link to a logo, so on and so forth. You'll want to go line item by line item and fill out each one of the custom values that you want your sub account to be updated with. Once you're happy with all the custom values, we're going to create a snapshot of this sub account. Navigate to the account snapshot section of your agency view and then on the right hand side click on create new snapshot. We will then name the snapshot such as onboarding and select the sub account that the new snapshot is going to be created from. This is the sub account that has all of the custom values located inside it. Once we're happy with the sub account click on next and we will be presented with creating a snapshot and associating each one of the assets that we want in this particular snapshot. In our case, we added custom values. So I'm gonna select all custom values that I created in the sub account. In addition to the sub account custom values, you may also want campaigns, calendar information, maybe even blogs. And of course you can scroll down through the information and add things such as forms and websites and knowledge base. I recommend spending quite a bit of time on your snapshot to make sure it is the best possible resource for new clients. Make it custom to the particular niche that you're working within. But for the case of our onboarding video, we're gonna focus on custom values. So once we're happy with all the settings, so once we hit proceed, a new snapshot is now created and you can see the snapshot template called onboarding within the sub account that it's connected to. Now we've got a couple of options. If you're on the 497 plan, Go ahead and skip ahead just a little bit more in this video and I'll show you how to automatically attach the snapshot to new clients that sign up so you don't have any additional steps. However, if you're on the $97 a month or the $297 a month plan, this is what you're going to need to do. You will click on and see the snapshot section and click on create new account. When you click on create new account, you'll follow out the manual or the automatic client setup process you can click on add manual and you'll fill out the sub account information to add your new client. This will then set up the account with the attached snapshot. For those of you on the $497 a month plan, it's going to be much easier to set up snapshots and to get your client set up as soon as they purchase. When someone purchases through your SaaS link and purchase one of your plans, you can actually attach a snapshot that automatically sets them up. 
We'll click on edit details for the associated account, and then we'll click on features. And at the top right corner, you'll have attached snapshot. You can then see the own snapshot or imported snapshots inside of your account. And we'll click on the onboarding in our case and click on attach. This will then associate it to this SaaS plan so that when someone purchases your account, it'll automatically upload the snapshot to their account. Now here's an additional step that'll make your life a whole lot easier. Earlier, I was showing you this onboarding form on the left-hand side of your account. You may not see that right now, and that's because it's a custom menu link. This form, as someone fills it out, will automatically update every one of the custom values for your sub accounts. So whenever I click on submit and finish all of the questions for this form that I have, I'll see the form is submitted. I can go to the settings section and see that those custom values have updated for the sub account. Inside the agency view of my account under custom menu links, you'll see that I have an onboarding form, but it's only one link. This is because the form is dynamically updated based on the location ID. So I only have to add one custom menu link and this form will only update the information inside of the associated sub account or the client that is filling out that information. This makes my life a whole lot easier because I don't have to set up a unique go high level onboarding form for every one of my clients. I only have to build the form once and it'll automatically update every one of the custom values as my clients fill out that information. I'm doing this using Extendly's onboarding forms inside of the Extendly OS platform. You can click on manage your forms and I can build out custom forms and attach them in association to particular snapshots. For example, these are the questions that I've built inside of my form builder within the Extendly OS. On the right hand side, this is the field mapping, the custom values from my sub account. So I can drag and drop them and associate them with each one of the questions. Of course, if I'm not happy with a particular custom value or, or if I need to create a new one and associate a new question, I can build all that mapping and associate it within my Extendly OS. Once I'm happy with the list of questions, the ones that we built inside of your Google Doc earlier, I can then preview this form, whether from desktop or from mobile. I can also view every one of the responses from particular sub accounts and add additional form fields as easy as dragging and dropping each one of them into the account. There are pre-built forms inside the template library that are in association with the Extendly snapshots. If you have any of those already, then you're gonna be super happy with these forms because the custom values are linked with the pre-built forms in your account. However, if you would like to build a custom form, you can do that too by clicking on new form, naming it, and dragging and dropping any of the information that you need to gather inside of your sub account. And once I'm happy with the forms that I've associated with each one of my sub accounts, I can click on the onboarding form link and this will generate the custom menu link that I add to my agency level. I'll copy that link, paste it into my custom menu link at the agency level, and now using one custom menu link, I have a unique form that automatically and dynamically updates every one of my custom values inside of my sub accounts, making my onboarding process completely seamless. Of course, you can do a very similar process by going to the form section of your agency sub account, adding a new form into there and copying this particular link by clicking on integrate, copying that form link and adding that as a custom menu link at your agency level of your account. The only downside with that is you're not going to have a dynamically updating form. You're going to have to create a unique form for every single one of your sub accounts to update the custom values, which will also take an automation that you can upload through a snapshot. In the Google Doc that you downloaded at the very beginning, I also have a link to the Go High Level onboarding process. This is one that was put together by James Hurst and others inside the High Level community as a bunch of the different questions that you may want to ask when you're onboarding new clients. So this will help jumpstart your onboarding process and setting up every one of those custom values to make sure you have a seamless experience set up for your clients. So I hope this is super useful for you. But if you really wanna take your Go High Level agency to the next level and simplify your onboarding process, I would go with the Extendly OS forms. I've got a link down below for you to be able to join Extendly OS. I've been using them for two plus years and I really, really love their team and highly, highly recommend them. So if you go and sign up with one of their accounts, then just tell them that I sent you their way. And of course, if you have any further questions, then you can join me inside of gocolab.com forward slash build my private community that's completely free that has a bunch of training videos that you can use and white label as your own to train and onboard your new clients. So I appreciate your time and I will see you 
in the next video.